Hello friends, this video on equilibrium part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more free from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched all the previous parts. Now let's try to find the relation between K, Q and G. We know that K is what equilibrium constant, Q is what reaction quotient and G is the Gibbs free energy. And the relationship is this. Delta G is equal to Z0 plus RT ln K. This is something which we have uh, read in the last chapter also and in equilibrium this is equal to zero so the whole equation becomes zero and with this we get this value i'll tell you how see delta g is equal to zero or delta g naught plus rt ln k is equal to zero or what do you get ln k ln k will be nothing but delta g naught by rt minus so k will be what e to the power minus the whole thing that is delta g by rt this is what you get right and also we as we have told that uh, my if delta g is less than zero and k is greater than one reaction is spontaneous g is greater than zero k less than one it is non spontaneous so this is the relationship between k and g and the relation is with this just remember this relationship uh, if you get some numericals you can just use this uh, relationship to solve those the relationship is very pretty simple. If you have, if you know the value of delta G, then you can find the K. Or if you know K, you can find delta G. Obviously, you should know R and T because uh, K happens only at a given temperature. So if you know K, you should be knowing T also. Let's take some examples on this. The question says the value of delta G naught for phos for ion of glucose is, in glucolysis is 13.8 kJ per mole. Find the value of Kc. So the question says delta G for phosphorylation of glucose in glucose is 13.8 kJ per mole. We have to find the value of Kc. So delta G naught is given 13.8 kJ. I will convert into joule, joule per I have to find Kc, right? So Kc you can directly use the formula e to the power minus delta G by RT. So this will become e to the power minus delta G is what this value. 13.8 into 10 to the power 3 r is what 8.314 joule per mole per kelvin and this is joule per mole into temperature 298 kelvin so it gets cancelled uh, per mole per mole get cancelled joule joule get cancelled so what you are left with is e to the power minus 5.569. If you solve this, you get 5.569. Correct. So this is my Kc. And this is nothing but 3.81 into 10 to the power minus. Easy one. Just direct application of the formula. One thing to note here is since I am taking the G in joule per mole, I'll take the R value to be 8.314 joule per mole per kelvin. So the value of R that you should take should match with the value of G. Okay. Again, a pretty straightforward question. Hydrolysis of sucrose gives sucrose plus water gives glucose plus fructose. And the Kc for this reaction is given. Temperature is given. Where to find delta G naught? Delta G naught is very easy. Is nothing but minus RT ln K. Put the value. So it is minus R is 8.314 Joule per mole per Kelvin into temperature. That is 300 Kelvin into ln K. K is what? 2 into 10 to the power 30. So this Kelvin, Kelvin gets cancelled. 
So what I'm left with is minus seven point six four into ten to the power four. And what is the unit? It'll be joule per mole. Joule per. Then. So the question says we have to find the G naught and K C for this formation of NO two from NO and O two at two ninety eight Kelvin. The reaction is given where we have the delta G naught for N two. Delta G naught for N O, delta G naught for O. So first thing I have to find is to find delta G naught for the whole reaction, and then using the, using the formula which we learned just now, we can find K C. So let's find delta G naught for the whole reaction. So this will be nothing but delta G naught of product minus delta G naught of react. This concept is something which we learned in the last chapter. So for products, I have NO2 only, right? That is delta G naught of NO2 minus sum of uh, delta G naught of reactant that is O2 and uh, NO. So what is the delta G naught of O2? One by two into this guy zero. On the right hand, delta G naught of O2 plus delta G naught of N. Correct. Let's put the value. Delta G naught of N O2 is what? Fifty two kilo joule per mole minus one by two into O2 is zero plus N O is what? Eighty seven. Kilo joule per mole. So you saw there you get minus thirty five kilo joule per mole. So this is my delta G naught for the whole reaction. Okay. Now I have to find K. I know delta G naught is nothing but minus two point three zero three R T log K or R T L K. Same thing, right? So instead of uh, uh, ln, I'm using log. So I'm multiplying with 2.303. So what is delta G naught minus 35 is equal to minus 2.303. R is 8.314. T is 298 Kelvin into log k, and this will be joule or per mole of Kelvin. So you solve this minus minus cancel. You solve the whole thing. You get k to be one point three six one into ten to the power six, and that is this is joule per mole minus thirty five joule. So everything gets cancelled actually. All the units get cancelled. I get k to be one point three six into ten to the power six. Thank you. Visit examfear dot com to. Watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.